Whenever you get to a bridge in life, cross that bridge. When you're walking and you get to a bridge, cross that bridge. And if you're running and you get to a bridge, you cross that bridge. Smash, give him a class. Five o'clock, Wednesday. Social Security Day. That's yes, day two of four day Social Security. The traffic's a little heavy on the bridge, and people don't know what to make of a runner in the Social Security age group running on the bridge. Welcome to Walking for Fitness. We'll be walking in this class. Uh, I prefer to do a slightly faster version of walking. I'll be your instructor. I'm Dana Leeling. And this is ESS 101W in the real world. I'm a 60 year old runner. 41 years of running experience. I know it's a walking class. <laughs> you signed up for walking, and that's good. You need to start with walking. I know you need to start with walking. Wait. People already know I'm crazy. They know my name. But you gotta start with walking. Because 17 years ago, I taught a running class. And we discovered, working with the nurse and I, that not only were half of the females overweight, Hi, this is a blunt class. If you want someone to talk nice to you, you better sign up for something else. Half of the females were overweight, and a third of the males. We also found that about 30% already had incipient high blood pressure. And we know from work done by Popa State Medical Services that Something on the order of seven to nine percent of the population has heart valve damage. That's you, you're the population. One in every 10, okay, maybe. One in every 14 or so. But, but the point is, our students were too unhealthy the running class. I was somewhat shocked. You have so many unhealthy for a walking class. So, I stepped down. I stopped teaching it. The last run of the SS 101J juggling was in 2004. Too much risk. And it's wake. The beginning. Where everybody begins. Walking. Walking for fitness. Now in this class, you'll need a smartphone. Because you'll be doing this by yourself. Well, except for the occasional dog. I did. And the structure of this course is pretty simple. I'll be looking for you to do about five walks a week. Think of it as a walk each weekday. 
of a mile. One mile a day, at least five days a week. That's the core of the class. Along the way, I'll teach you some stuff. Woo. I even teach you how not to get hit by a car. NESS NESS 101W Out here in the real world You'll hear me repeat myself quite often So bear with me as sections of video are reruns of each other. I mean, it is Wednesday, the second day of Social Security here in Pompeii. And that means there's a lot of traffic. If you're like me and you're working on the road, you've got to be extra careful out there. Now, you'll just be walking, walking a mile. I've run on Chook. You can put in a a mile out there by the airport with a few laps. I'll get some distances to you later. If you're in Yap, oh, you're in the SS 101 WJ. You guys just gotta walk a lap of the lagoon. <laughs> that lagoon is one mile. If you walk the lagoon one lap, you got your mile. You want two, you do two laps. On Pompeii, lots of options. Lots of possibilities. Where you get your mile, you decide. Now the goal... That goal is a mile a day. You know, this isn't my idea originally. My idea is run. It's outlined in the earlier video. But, health markers are such that Running isn't up advice as a beginning sport anymore. Your grandma, your grandpa, they could run. Your great grandpa, probably a marathoner. But today's generation, maybe not in such good shape. And again, pardon the harsh words. But I'm a 60 year old man, about two and a half miles into my run. Now, your quarter of my section. And my section only is to do a mile a day for five days. And as I said, not originally my own idea. I borrowed it from the mile a day moms. Women who commit to walking a mile a day for 41 days. Or whatever number of days they decide on. They showed me that this can be done. And I'm only looking for five miles, a mile a day for five days per week. Any five days you want. Weekdays, whatever. Week starts on Sunday, ends on Saturday. They gotta get in a one mile walk five times. That's the core to the class. A one mile walk five times. A mile a day, five days a week. Now, the Mile Day Moms taught me something else. If you can't, they try to run or jog their mile. I should note that. They're a, they're a group of Micronesian mothers who run. Pardon the wind. And their model was. If you can't run, jog. If you can't jog, walk. If you can't walk, crawl. But finish that mile. Now, I don't want you hurting yourself. You got to, uh, I don't want you hurting yourself. You've got to judge for yourself, your own condition. You are going to have to listen to your body. What it can do, what it can't. Your body 
is your instructor. What hurts? Is it serious? Is what hurts a, a muscle that's sore? You're gonna learn a lot of ideas in this class. A couple things right off the bat. The place it hurts is not the place the weakness is. The place it hurts when it's a muscle problem is not the place the weakness is. Where it hurts is not the problem. If you have a muscle pain, and we'll learn some of these terms as the course goes on, patellar tibial syndrome, iliotibial tibial band syndrome, that's just medieval and goddess, I'm a goddess. Weakness. If you have these problems, and you'll learn what they are, they cause pain in a different part of the body. So, for example, patellar tibular syndrome, pain below the knee, is caused by a weak VMO muscle. A weak VMO is up in the upper inner thigh. So you gotta strengthen that. There are other kinds of aches and pains that aren't necessarily related to weakness in your body. Some pain is uh, delayed onset muscle syndrome comes about 48 hours after the first time you work out a muscle. So, I'll be here to help you sort that out. I got 41 years of throwing myself at roads and hills and things. I think I can help. Now, where you do your mile a day, five times a week is really up to you. It really is. For those of you in town, I'll be trying to... Colonia Town. Now, yep, okay, you got the lagoon. Boom. Or your village. Or up at the track there. Yeah. Up at the uh, sports complex. Wherever. Find a beach. Oh, if you're in Koshai, for heaven's sakes, just go up and down the dang beach. You cannot run on Koshai. Koshai is the only island you can't run on. The dogs. Oh, damn. Yeesh. I can't get in. Koshai. Okay. Mungomet. Kaiten Nolismet. Mungomet. I fuck on it. Koshai. See island. I take a gas wash. When you're in Belling, I take gas wash. Those dogs are out of control. So, if you're Koshai. You have to be careful. I need this for my class. Yeah. But, returning to Pompeii, this little loop, one smasher, will get you a few laps of it. I don't know how many, I'll find out when they finish. And that will get you your, your mile a day, or the track, or out in park, or Heck, you can even do a mile in Madeline. I'm honest, it can be done. I've done a mile of walking. I don't know, any parts of the Oh, and if you want real fun, run from Roy to Wapa. I did that once. Roy to Wapa. Get you to Madeline. Running. I don't want to see no walking up those hills. No, I'm kidding. Don't try it. You'll hurt yourself. So, this will make a, a fine sight. As well, anywhere you are. That's the point of this class. Wherever you are, you'll be able to put in your mile. Somewhere, somehow. Heck, if nothing else, you'll walk around the house till you rack up a mile. Apps. I do have to talk about apps. There are many good apps out there. And I'll be sharing some ideas. Uh, uh, I'll probably say that for another video. I tend to use running apps like Strava. And, uh... Nike Run Club, and I'll talk about some of those options as we go along. Nice view this way here. And, uh, uh, but you can use any fitness app you have. Many phones like Samsung's come with their own fitness app. Hey, Brownie! You can 
pick and choose whatever fitness app works for you. Uh, Google has a real nice health and fitness app. Uh, that's available. And I'll be covering some of these, going through some of them. But you'll need an app that can tell you your distance, give me a map, and, and the time. You'll need one of these fitness tracking apps on a GPS smartphone. Yes, you need a smartphone for this class. Yes, it has to have a GPS. Yes, you're gonna have to do your miles with them. That's how I'll know you did your mile. Hello. Ah. Don't be shy. I'm a 60-year-old man talking to my phone as I run up the middle of Main Street on a social security day. Do I look shy? Okay. You do have to watch out for cars. They, they might go around me here. But they might not. So you must be careful if you're on the road. But I would recommend that you use a sidewalk if you can, a track if you can, a soccer field, a trail. If you have access to a trail, you can use a trail. Try to stay out of traffic. In other words, don't do what I do. Do as I say, not as I do, or something like that. Inconsistent. Now, perhaps, uh, you'll have to look at your own phone, your app store. Apple has its own fitness app. Will it track GPS? Will it, uh, will it give you distance time? If you do, find a way to use Strava. Strava may not be available to you. May or may not. I don't think it's in the Android Google Micronesia store. But if it is, you can connect to me on Strava. There'll be information in other online materials. Get in touch with me. But the way we'll be submitting is a little different. And again, it's based on my experience. I'm going to be setting up a closed group on Facebook. Why Facebook? Because it's much easier to upload things to Facebook than just about anything else. They've got some of the best uploading compression algorithms on the planet. <coughs> and if you're working on an ADSL with a lot of devices in the house or out in Koshai on the satellite link, you're going to need something to post. Now, I'll, I'll later give an example of what a post will look like. That'll, but the basic idea of the post focuses on that if, if you post five images, Facebook shows all five. And since you're only trying to do a mile a day, for five days, you'll post five miles. Screenshots, you'll have to do screenshots. Yeah, for the most part, you'll have screenshots. But you can use whatever you want. One a day. So that each week, you're making a single post with five images that show me the distance and the route. Uh, I'll know from that whether you're doing your mile. I mean, come on. This is one of those I'll have to trust you courses. There, I won't actually be able to check up on you. But I'll trust that you've done them. I'll need to see screenshots that show me your route and the mile that you did. And a, a later video will cover some of the details on this. So you can, uh, can see now. Everything I'm saying in this video will also be in the welcome letter. And uh, we'll be, there'll, be an, uh, there'll be an online syllabus that gives you links to everything. And within Schoology, there'll be reminders to get things in. Like your weekly submission 
it'll be posted in Schoology as a reminder, but you will not be submitting through Schoology. No, you'll be submitting through Facebook, and then I'll be marking them off in Schoology. So, again, the welcome letter will cover these details. There'll be links in Schoology. All of this stuff will be there. So that's the basic design of the course. I do hope uh, you enjoy it. Please, if you have any questions, ask. And you can ask electronically. Or if you happen to be on Pompeii and see me, you can ask me in person. So, welcome to my section of ESS 101W and the way I plan to structure it. All things are subject to change. But the design of the course is that we will be able to continue the course no matter what happens with our pandemic condition. Because you're going to do this on your own, at your own place, on your own roads, in front of your own cars, you see. So, okay, not in front of your own cars. Dangerous, don't do that. But, but that's the idea. You'll be doing it. If you have to, you'll be doing laps around your house. But my hope is that we'll be able to continue to have access to the roads and our trails, or possibly our parks, and you'll be able to continue to get in those mile days. So welcome to uh, welcome to the course, and uh, pardon the pardon the bad audio.